Hello, hello vlog and welcome to a new day. Today I woke up, I showered, washed my hair, I made some tea, chamomile, standard. And then I started thinking, should I vlog today? Should I do like a realistic day in my life? That's reality. Always. Always. Always when I start filming, people start... Anyway, so I decided to film my day without any planning, without any scripts, without any preparation a day beforehand. That is really not like me. I usually do so much planning, preparation, everything before I start filming. Today, no. Today we're talking reality. reality. Except one thing. I put on my makeup. Okay? Okay, I admit. I don't do this every day. I almost never do it. But you know, my skin has been acting up the past few days and I am just, I'm just self-conscious. Literally, a few few weeks ago, I was telling you guys how my skin is the best ever, how I have figured it all out, how diet is the key to everything, and after that I went out eating once. I had some a bit stressful days on top of that. And my skin is just, she's not having it. I'm self-conscious, so that's why I put on makeup, but the rest of it is going to be just like reality. So let's go and see where the day takes us. Okay, first of all, let's just take a second to discuss this outfit. If you guys dress all cute to be at home, we cannot be friends. Seriously, when I'm at home, this is it. This is the best I can do. I stole this from my boyfriend and I am not returning it. I need to be cozy, like extra cozy. Whenever I go out, I would put on something still cozy, but maybe a tiny bit better. But the second, the second I enter my house, this. Today is going to be a pretty chill day. I have some chores I need to do, like laundry. But then we may also go on a hike. While my hair is drying, I do want to do some heatless curls. But that does mean that I'm going to look a bit pathetic in the next two hours. Sorry. I haven't seen this particular technique anywhere, but I tried it last time when I was drying my hair. And it worked really well. So let's try it again. Basically, you twist your hair like this, take a little clip, and then just secure it onto your shirt. That's it. Now you are a little bit limited with the movement of your head. It's not too bad. First thing on the agenda, we gotta do some chores. Empty the dishwasher. These curls. You basically cannot move. It's a great hair hack. But the curls in the end are very beautiful. And last time they have lasted like two to three days, so... I'm willing to live like that for two hours in order to have nice, heatless curls. Then we got laundry. You gotta do the laundry, it's life. Also, one thing that I have to do every single day is wipe the kitchen counter, even if I'm not cooking. You know, it's normal that they get dirty when you're cooking and doing stuff in here, but even if I don't touch, because they're black. So if you guys are renovating or buying a new kitchen, think twice before deciding for black countertops, because they are dirty all the time. The dust is just super visible on it, and I could be constantly wiping it, and it would never look clean. So when we're renovating this kitchen, which is definitely coming, I don't know when, but we're doing it one day, I'm thinking white marble. I may change my mind, but they're definitely not gonna be dark. Definitely not black. Come here. I'm gonna show you. See, it's like this all the time and I have to constantly wipe I already had a black countertop in Norway in my previous apartment. It was the entirely black kitchen. I love the kitchen, but... And now here when we moved in, what was waiting for me? A black countertop again. At least I can cook my meals. I'm satisfied. For breakfast, I'm gonna have a soup that I cooked yesterday. I cook my creamy vegetable soup every other day and then I have it for breakfast also the next day. So today it's a lucky day because I don't have to cook. We're having a gorgeous day today. So the only right thing to do is to have our breakfast outside. Bon appetit. Mmm, yummy. Always delicious. I feel like I'm the only one eating soup for breakfast. It is just not widely accepted as a breakfast food. Am I right? Do you eat soup for breakfast? Probably not, right? Someone needs to make soups for breakfast a viral thing. Seriously, make it viral on TikTok. 
But to be honest, this was not my first choice. I had periods when I was obsessed with oatmeal. Then I switched to millet. Then I switched to quinoa. And my tummy was just never happy. And I would make such delicious breakfast. Oatmeal with blueberries and cacao and almond butter. Mm, it was like a cake. But this guy, no, mm -mm. was not having it. So then I switched to soups. And I mean, it works. I've gotten used to it. It's warming, it's fuzzy, it's cozy. The tummy's happy, I am happy. Great start of the day. I don't have a trying machine, so I have to try my clothes the old-fashioned way. Since today is a beautiful sunny day, I thought I'm gonna bring my clothes outside and they will be dry in no time. I am not using the clothes pins, as you can see, and today is a bit windy, so that's called living life on the edge. Next we gotta take a picture for the thumbnail. I think I committed to this top. And then we have three options for shorts. These orange ones, the pink ones, and then jeans. I'm gonna try them on and let's see. Probably the orange ones though. Before we go take a picture, let me just show you what happened to the hair. So we take the clips off, zhuzh it with your fingers a little bit, and here we have it. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool, like nice beachy waves. Here is the entire outfit together and for the shoes I chose my DIY sneakers, remember those? I still love this so much. Right, now let's go take this photo. So basically in the photo I'm kind of gonna be doing a little bit of gardening with these beautiful flowers. We took the photo, that went very smoothly and I also wanted to show you these interesting flowers. They look like those bottle cleaning gadgets, very funny. I got changed because we are going on a little hike. So I'm just packing up my backpack. This one is super comfortable. So I am taking a towel and bathing suit. Because last time we went on a hike and there was such a beautiful waterfall with a gorgeous pond. We could have gone for a swim, but we had no essentials. So we are not repeating this mistake. This is coming with me. Also, I'm taking a cheeky little chocolate bunny because we may get hungry along the way. And the most important thing when you're going on a hike is water. I'm taking this one. I put in a little bit of electrolytes. And in this one, I'm gonna put some water and mint. We have lots of mint growing there. I'm gonna take some and make a minty beverage. I'm starting my gardening adventure very soon. If this is how it's gonna go, I'm doomed. We've got drinks, we've got snacks, let's go for a hike. It was lovely to see. I love the color of these doors. Beautiful. Should I eat the rabbit now or should I wait a bit longer? It is finally time for our little snack on this beautiful picturesque place. I think we're going swimming today, 
but this has been a really nice hike. Hello beautiful cows, so much yummy grass you have here. Mm. We are back from the hike and our car definitely needs a wash. Look at that, oh my gosh. But yeah, we didn't go swimming this time because it just wasn't that warm, but we did stop for a lunch on the way back home. We were thinking we are too hungry and tired to cook when we get home so we can eat outside. We had this traditional slow cooked meal. It does not look too appetizing, but trust me, it is very delicious. I am so full, it is about four o'clock. Today's dinner is going to be very light. Since I'm already filming, I thought I'm gonna show you a few things that I got the past couple of days. Everything is pretty basic because I found out that I need basic things. Things that you can just throw on, that go with everything. I need that. First is this sleeveless, white, fine knit kind of top. This will go very well with a skirt that I have in mind. I've had this skirt for two to three years and I almost never wore it because I was missing this and white sneakers. I bought the sneakers a few months ago and now this top, I have enough. No, but this is very versatile. You can wear it with jeans, with literally anything. Next, we have another sleeveless white top, but this one is more casual, more sporty. It has this ripped material. I like it a lot. This, some mom jeans or jean shorts, white sneakers, good to go. Next, we have this beautiful orange oversized crop tee. I love the color. I think orange is very big this year. And this fit is just everything. This is so comfy to wear. I I love things like this. And last but not least, we have an oversized denim jacket. I love the color of this one. It also has a heart on the back, which is a nice detail. I really love the fit. I think I'm gonna wear it with tights a lot. It also has this soft denim material, which I appreciate. So I am very happy with this find. I think I'm just gonna stay in this outfit because it is very cute and also super cozy. And now let's do some cleaning. clean about every other day because these floors it's the same story as with the kitchen counters i love this wooden floor it is so warming the color is so rich gorgeous but since the color is pretty dark everything is super visible on it so i have to be vacuum cleaning constantly dinner's gonna be very simple i cooked a beef bone broth yesterday so i'm gonna use this throw in some veggies and call it a day First I'm gonna chop some carrots, I get mine from an organic farm so that's why they are all wrinkly and imperfect and this is how you want your veggies to be. In this soup you can literally throw any kind of vegetables. I found some bok choy in my fridge so I'm also chopping that. I think that's gonna be it for me but you can throw in potatoes, sweet potatoes, green beans, whatever you like. I'm first gonna cook the veggies in water for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna add the broth and some parsley. Let it simmer for a few minutes and dinner is served. Thank you for spending the day with me, guys. I'm now gonna eat this delicious soup, then I'm gonna probably watch some YouTube and fall asleep. Also, let me know if you'd like to see more day in life videos like this, and I will see you soon. Bye.